One last thing that we should talk about this morning is uh, Israel Falau, who um, is back in the news this morning. Um, so I woke up this morning and was like, politicians condemn Israel Falau over bushfire comments. Like, I wonder what he could possibly have said. Um, so I don't know if you know, but uh, New Ze- uh, sorry, Australia, uh, very serious fires, bushfires raging. Um, and uh, apparently it's God's judgment for the legalization of same-sex marriage and abortion. So uh, God is punishing Australia with these fires for the uh, things that they've done. And so, funnily enough, everybody has said, shouldn't have said that, Israel, because, uh, you know, there's, bad there's, to there's a fine line here from him, from the media publishing this stuff, because the reality is he's standing up in, in his church and probably speaking in front of 30, 40 people um, saying this stuff. And it's been put up on Facebook and then it's been picked up by the media and then there's articles being written about it and it's on mainstream news. Um, so it's out there. Um, and some people say, well, don't don't give it airtime, but it's out there now again. And I just think it's becoming sad at this stage, Ger, because this, this guy is obviously completely deluded. It's shocking um, bullshit that he's continuously preaching to people. Um, some will argue again that it's him just preaching in his church, but they know it's going to get out. He knows it's going to get out. And I would say now, aside from believing any of this stuff, he's, 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 he's damaging his case against Rugby Australia now even more so. And I don't think he'll ever win that case anyway about the unfair dismissal. And people talk about free speech. Well, if this is free speech, it's, it's crazy stuff. It's crazy speech. It's not free speech. And it was the same as his comments about homosexuality and people going to hell and all that stuff. I never agreed with any of that. I think it is. He's saying it's out of love. Um, it's, it, it's not. It's out of hate. It's not. You know, there's people totally have is. died here. There's people have perished here. There's people have lost their homes here in Australia. And he's saying it's God's way of punishing people for, for Australia legalizing same-sex marriage. Jesus, did you ever hear such crap in all your life? It's absolute rubbish. And I think there's no way back for this guy now. Hopefully. There is, yeah, hopefully. And I, you know what? I, we, we don't want to kind of get involved in the hate kind of scenario or hate campaign. But I just think, like, it's such a sad story. This guy is one of the greatest rugby players Australia have ever produced. Such an incredible talent. He, because he is told on one stage, stop posting stuff, homophobic tweets. Um, he does it again. He agrees not to do it, does it again. Then he gets his contract terminated. Um, and now he's he's missed out on the World Cup. He's missed out on continuing his sporting career. And I've said this from the start, I don't mind. If you believe stuff, you know, it's just, and you're a role model and you're a sports person, and you use, use a social media platform to say these things, well, you're risking the wrath of people you offend. Um, there's no problem believing stuff and keeping it to yourself or keeping it quiet. And there is an argument to say that, look, this stuff is going on in the church, but they know it's getting out. They're pushing it out onto Facebook, his yeah, speeches. Yeah, it was published on Facebook. The sermon was published on Facebook. You know, it? so it's not as if it's he's a private He's trying to amplify that message because he's Absolutely. trying to rally people behind that message. Absolutely. and Because uh, the there pe- are people out there who, t- who believe that. Like, I just think the people who stood up for him now uh, the politicians and uh, the high-profile other sports people in Australia. There's a minority of them that backed him and stood up for him and said it was free speech. Hopefully, they're abandoned. Should now. see now that this is crazy speech. It's not not free free speech, and it's offensive to to anyone now who's who's lost loved ones in the bushfires in Australia. It's just absolute rubbish and crap, and I, I, it's just it's it's mind-boggling to be honest. All right, we'll leave it there. Uh,